Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Well, the, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Yesom Wiki, has conceded that he made a mistake to support Siminalai Fubara to succeed him as the governor of a river state. Wiki, who was speaking at a function in Ogubolo local government area of River State on Saturday, apologized to the people of the state for his mistake. He said he's a human who is bound to make mistakes, assuring the people, however, that the mistake will be corrected at the appropriate time. Now, joining me to have a conversation about this is Bio Showumi. He's a political analyst. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining me. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, so we're talking about the crisis in River State and um, uh, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yenson Wike, who was the former governor of the state, seemed to have quite, you know, some form of so much relevance in the state, even more than the governor, as we might see in this case. And he has said that it was a mistake um, having to support the current governor. In fact, one of the words that he used in court, um, he says, I am a human being. I'm bound to make mistake. My judgment can be wrong. So forgive me for making a wrong judgment. That is life. So nobody should kill himself. Mm -hmm. um, he also said, I want to clearly, I want to say this clearly in life. When you make a mistake, you say, I have made a mistake. There is nothing you can do about it. I have made the mistake. I own up to it. I say, God, forgive me. And I will say all of you forgive me, but I will correct it at the appropriate time. Do you think, um, uh, you know, the current governor, Sim Fubara, might just be a mistake for River State for the former governor to be saying this? Because I feel like that is quite a grave word. And for him to even ask God to forgive him, um, what can Fubara be doing in River State that is so heinous or so bad that someone is saying it's a mistake? Well, um, we all need to know where Wiki is coming from. Mm. Fubara was both a civil servant on the, maybe probably level 12 or something before Wiki decided uh, to accelerate his career. And then he ended up becoming the accountant general of River State. We also know that um, Fubara was in trouble with EFCC and Wiki zoomed to the airport on Boraco to rescue him and kept him in the government house. We also know that Fubara did not campaign in the last election. It was actually Wiki that campaigned for him. Mm. And we know that he actually imposed him on the um, people of the state. Mm. state. Despite the fact that many people opposed to Fubara, they claim that he had not invested in politics or is a novice, he didn't know anything about politics at the Look, we came, went all out to stake everything to have to bear. And it succeeded. Now, controlling the structures of the party. So now we now find ourselves in the situation where Wiki and Fubara are no longer at ease. Mm -hmm. And then you have um, many members, overwhelming members, 27 or 25 now, out of the House of Assembly members of 30, 31 won't die. Uh, we now have uh, they are opposed to the governor, Fubara. Uh, the desire to impeach him, Fubara decided to uh, maintain his grip, you know, on, on the levers of power in the state. Uh, by demolishing the House of Assembly um, auditorium, they are meeting this, and then now seeking to destroy the legislative quarters which they are doing, and then bring them um, inside the government house, you know, uh, you know actually breaching the separation of powers mm. you know, to get them to start um, a meeting in government house with a view to be able to enforce his own authority on the House of Assembly against the provisions and the spirit of the Constitution. Now, where does this leave us? Now, it means basically the vast state is paralyzed in terms of governance. And if care is not taken, if Fubara should go a step further by demolishing the quarters of the legislators, we may end up in a situation where the House of Reps will take over power in uh, the, the, the functions of the House of Assembly in the state. And should that happen, Ubara will be in a worse situation. The reason being that all the House of Representative members, all the senators, are wicked loyalists. So mm -hmm. when the functions are taking over, Fubara will now find himself having to come to Abuja to lobby on every legislation, to lobby on his budget, to lobby on every single move. 
And if care is not taken, should they desire to remove them, they will do so. So therefore, I think it's a lot better that Obama should take a step back and you know, rethink his strategy, while at the same time looking at political solutions you know, to this very problem. The fact is, if should they go to a, into another election today, of course they make it realist for me, because they control the party structures and the local government structures. And that is the structure from local government, which Ubara is seeking to take over, which the House has been minding the opportunity of doing so, which has brought you know, the crisis to the fore currently. So in my view, I think Wiki is right to, if he thinks he made a mistake, Yes, he's right to apologize to the people of uh, Labour State, particularly the, his fellow PDP members. But honestly speaking, if you are taking someone else or Fubara stock, he will still end up with the same result. And that is the truth in this matter. Uh, because if you take into account the fact that Labour State has been governed, you know, by a particular, by Uplanders, you know, for 24 years, and uh, you are talking about uh, whether you talk about what did the Celestine Umehia, uh, Wiki, or Amechi, they are all uplanders. The only Riverine governor to, to the, to today in the last 24, 25 years is Fubara. So no matter who becomes the governor, or as long as that person is from the Riverine area, you are bound to have this situation. Because part of what they are fighting for is the distribution of offices. Uh, for a long time, the uplanders are about the upper hand of controlling uh, more offices than the Riverine area. So, Ubara is also seeking to, re, uh, to, to, to reverse that. Uh, we should not forget that there are also other forces who will stand behind Ubara, who are willing to fight UK. You have the Article faction also, who are now standing behind Ubara for, for an eventual showdown. Mm. I like the fact that you've given us a little bit of context to so where all of this started from, from Fubara's career, um, starting as a civil servant to Wiki, you know, advancing his career, campaigning for him to become governor and all that has happened. But I want to take it from the beginning. And because one of the words that you said was Fubara was a novice. He did not know anything about politics, but Wiki saw him and decided to make him governor. Now, don't you think that most governors in Nigeria, for all of the 36 states, they like to put their own people in government. And not just putting their own people, but putting people who are kind of like novices to ensure that they still have control. So the same Godfatherism that we keep talking about, that way I put someone who maybe doesn't know so much about it, and then they have no choice but to come to me all the time. And in a way, I am still governing the state, even though... I am not the current governor, so I still have the powers of the governor because I'm the one who is, you know, pulling the strings from behind. With that being said, why is it that Nigerian politicians are so intoxicated with power that they never want to just let it go or allow the person who has succeeded them to run the affairs of the state? Could it be that the reason why Fubara and Wiki are having these issues right now is just because Wiki still wants to control the state but Fubara is saying, I can do it on my own. Why is that? Why is there that clash of personalities here? Yes, um, your, your suggestion, or probably Godfatherism, is, Hello, sir. Seems, seems plausible. When you look at a situation okay, where... We lost you for a uh, bit, so I think you should just start again. Have, Okay, yeah. The, your suggestion of um, godfatherism yeah. is, possi is possible in the sense that when you look at every governor, they want to ensure that their successor is their own clone, mm. you know, for different reasons, you know, some of which may include um, to shield them from whatever atrocities they have committed while in office. Mm. The other could also be because they want to ensure continuity. You know, a genuine desire to ensure continuity in their developmental projects. And it could also mean um, simply because um, they just want to wield power, just to be the godfather, and then control all appointments. Um, and some may be because of um, financial consideration, since we have made politics more you know, lucrative than going into business. So there are a lot of factors that will account for that. In the Fubara's case, I don't think it's about money, to be honest. Um, I think it's more of a desire 
you know, to ensure uh, the, not only continuity, but to ensure, um, uh, you know, Wiki remains relevant and is largely due to the politics in the PDP. Nothing to do with domestic politics. It's about, you know, the impending next battle in 2027, uh, which will start around 2026, 2025, 26, for the control of the PDP ticket. And as far as Wiki is concerned, he's prepared to battle article to the last. So for him, he must have a base. Without a political base, he will not be able, you know, to make the same impact that he made in the last uh, PDP primary. So for him, uh, control of um, Liba State is quite very, very important for him. So I don't think it's about money. I think it's more about uh, the impending or the, 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 the 2027 PDP ticket which is resolved to tackle article to the last, that will not get the ticket. And should they get the ticket, again, they will end up frustrating him like what happened at the last election. I think that's what is at play here. I don't think it's the bad money. I mean, don't forget that Obama himself had the EFCC problem. I mean, mm. EFCC was trying to arrest him for over 400 billion. Uh, so uh, the issue is not money certain, in my view. Mm. Okay, so another thing you also said was you think Fubara should take a step back. Now, I know that late last year, the president tried to mediate, you know, whatever is going on in River State between Fubara and Yensum Wike, and then they brought out a peace treaty, um, and there was a meeting, in fact... I'm just going to read out a few lines, one of which was all matters instituted in the courts by the governor of River State, Sir Fubara and his team, in respect of the political crisis in River State shall be withdrawn immediately. All impeachment proceedings initiated by, against the governor of River State by the River State House of Assembly should be dropped immediately. Um, this one is quite profound. The leadership of the River State House of Assembly, as led by Right Honorable Martin Amai Wule, shall be recognized alongside the 27 members who resigned from PDP. So they deflected, they moved to another party, but then you were still, um, uh, they still want them to be recognized. The remuner remunerations of all benefits of all members of the River State House of Assembly and their staff must be reinstated immediately and the governor of the River State shall henceforth not interfere with full funding of the River State House of Assembly. That's number four. Number five says the River State House of Assembly shall choose where they want to sit and conduct their legislative business without interference or hindrance from the executive arm of the government. The governor of River State, Sir Fubara, shall represent the state budget to a properly constituted River State House of Assembly. All the names of the commissioners in River State Executive Council who resigned their appointments because of the political crisis in the state should be resubmitted to the House of Assembly for approval. And finally, there should be not there should not be a caretaker committee for the local governments in River State. The dissolution of the local government administration is null and void and shall be recognized. I remember when this um, peace treaty was being drawn up and a lot of people were saying, how can members who have left PDP still be recognized? How can um, Fubara, in fact, sign this? And then Fubara said, I mean, he just wanted peace, but nobody should take the fact that he wanted peace as weakness. Nobody should think it was him being a weak governor, a weak man. Even though other people would say, why would you sign this? So if you're saying for Barish should take a step back, with him signing this peace treaty between him and Wiki and obviously the president of um, Nigeria, Tinubu, having to um, kind of like mediate, isn't that saying he wanted peace or he wanted to just be on good terms with Yensum Wiki? So how do we go from that? To where we are now, because there's some other things in the papers today where it says, um, I think one of which was about um, Fubara pro wiki lawmakers clash over relocation. There's just so many crises, and I'm wondering how long this is going to go for. If they've signed this peace treaty, why are we still here? Why is there still a crisis in River State? Yes, um, it was a wise decision for Fubara to sign the peace treaty at that time yeah. um, and given what happened don't forget the background to this because it's important to avoid a state of emergency in river state you know river state house of assembly was formed yeah. and the governor moved in you know and then decided to demolish it 
uh, without the consent of the House of Assembly members. Many people fingered, you know, the government has been responsible. And no doubt, some members of the government are currently undergoing trial in the Federal High Court of Abuja, I think, including the governor's chief of staff. And of course, at that point in time, many people were shocked about the turn of events. So it was wise for Fubara to have gone for a um, peaceful settlement. Now that done, um, they now encounter problems along the way. Some of the cases filed in court were not filed by the government but were filed by governor's supporters. And Fubara was not able to influence them to draw those uh, issues. While at the same time, some of the cases filed also were not filed by Wiki. They were filed by Wiki supporters at the federal court. So we now have Fubara, you know, obtaining judgments, you know, from the state high court, while the Wiki, pro Wiki's factions are hoping to rely on the federal court. So eventually, it is only a court of appeal judgment that will resolve many of the issues in Kwara State. Now, on the issue of defection and recognition of um, the members of the State House of Assembly as having joined APC, uh, look, it, everything depends on what the, the position the courts will take. Because, one, did they even write to the PDP to resign? If that didn't happen, just mere proclamation um, publicly, and uh, how will the court view that? I don't know. Um, it, not until when we get to the court of appeal, because each party has approached, you know, the a court of um, uh, coordinate jurisdiction on this matter. So I think it's only court of appeal that will determine that. Number two, if we if it is claimed that the ADC, he a three man led House of Assembly, you know, decided to declare their seat vacant in as provided for by law. Will it also be valid to say that, look, there's a minimum requirement before you can have the House of Assembly? Have they met that minimum? I think in the past it should be about 22, I think, mm. um, if I can still for leg. So uh, will a three-man uh, House of Assembly be able to declare their seats? Um, they can, you know, there are a lot of issues for the court, you know, to consider and uh, give rulings on uh, before anybody can show the door. So while... Uh, Fubara was hoping that if they would get their own day uh, in court, they would get their days in court with the, with the supporters, which they did get through an expatriate motion, which decided to declare the lawmakers as um, illegal or having left the, the, the they, are, they are not supposed to be in the House of Assembly. Now, that is an expatriate motion, which will last only for two weeks. After two weeks, what happened? Then they are now back. Number two, what happens if they file an appeal against that decision? And what happens to the substantive matter before the court? We already know another court has already indicted, the federal High court in Abidjan has already indicted Ubara himself on this issue of um, uh, uh, destroying the House of Assembly uh, complex. So uh, the whole thing is getting messy. And I'm yeah. sure Mr. President decided that. Look, this is not for me. Yeah. Either you resolve your issues uh, through the courts, or if you create a situation where the House of Assembly will take over the functions of the River State House of Assembly, then nobody can blame him for that. And if they create so anarchy, of course, a state of emergency will be declared. For me, that is not too good for Wiki, and that is not too good for Fubara. Uh, because it basically means that the president is saying that the, the, whichever way they head, um, the, the law will prevail, whatever the, the provisions of the law will apply. And if the House of Reps should take over the functions of the House of Assembly, the Fubana will be in a worse situation because he will have to come to Abuja to lobby on every single thing. Meanwhile, members of the House of Reps are from Wicked's faction. The ones from River State, they are from Wicked's faction. They are Wicked's loyalists. Mm. So I think that would be a worse situation for and it's better that it should again bend a bit more backward uh, to ensure that they can resolve this problem politically. If they are to rely on the court, go on for some time. Don't forget that each party has the right to appeal to court of appeal. That is not what um, River State wants. Other so what, what, what's the way forward now as we wrap it up? We have just about a minute or so. So what should Fubara do? And how can Wiki just 
come to terms, you know, with him as well. Because I'm sure Fubara would try to do his own bit, but Wiki also needs to, they both need to meet in the middle at this point. Because at the end of the day, their primary assignment is making sure that River State is okay. They're leading River State to, you know, that place of flourishing. So what can they do? How can they meet in the middle just in one minute to ensure that River State is good? Yes. We should not forget one thing. Fubara needs to remember that VK is like a governor. You know, he's the minister for federal capital territory. Mm -hmm. He's governing for capital territory. There is no problem. It is Fubara that has not been able to govern the state. Now, I think the solution is political. They should not simply rely on the courts. Otherwise, they will be in for a prolonged crisis. I think it's time Fubara and Wiki meet and then turn in the interest of river state development. No try and deal with their issues, including the external issues of, um, uh, of uh, Article Wiki and all that. Otherwise, they will continue to have problems. River State will, witness, will not witness any meaningful governance. And that is not good for Wiki, it's not good for Fubara. Any compromise on their part you know, will be helpful to ensure that River State can continue on the path to sustainable development. Peace is very, is an integral part of that requirement. Mm. All right. Like you said, peace is an integral part of that requirement. And I hope that they understand that both Yensong Wiki and um, Simulani Fubara understand that at the end of the day, it's the people of River State that's going to bear the brunt of whatever is going on, whatever political crisis they're in now. When two elephants fight, what happens? The ground suffers. Exactly. And so we do not want the people of River State to be the one to suffer. So they both need to meet in the middle. They both need to understand that the, the paramount, um, the priority rather, is the people of River State. So whatever political ambition they have, they just need to put that aside and ensure that Rivers is okay. We want to say thank you for coming. It was lovely having a conversation with you on this. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, we've been speaking with Biodun Shomi, he's a political analyst, and we've been talking about the crisis in River State. We hope that both parties just come to terms, understanding that at the end of the day, it's all about the people of River State. So whatever political ambitions they have needs to be put aside, and they need to understand that the people of River State comes first. This is where we have to wrap it up on the show. It's been lovely having the breakfast with you as always. My name is Rume Paulson. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have an amazing day.